We left off Pasuk Yud Gimel. Pasuk Yud Gimel. Yomre lo kim le noach. Kate ko bosa bodofonai. The end of all flesh has come before me. Ki moloritz chomos mipneim. Because the land has been filled with thievery mipneim. In their presence. If not, what is the word mipneim? How does he translate Mipneim? In the presence, David. You have a translation there? I mean, I would explain the word Mipneim means like it was like unabashedly, without any uh, shame. Mipneim. No, 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 before, no, before that. The, the land is filled with thievery. What says, what's after the theme? Through them. I mean, who else? The word seems, seems to be totally superfluous. Well, somebody's stealing. Unless, like I said, Mifnei, in their presence, mean people unabashedly or without any conscience, they steal from one another. It sounds like he does, that he's, he's uh, saying, through you, he said that there's no way. No One thing about uh, Howard goes from Aedus from Sota to Aedus to here. Okay, terrific. I had a linkage. What would happen if they did Shuba at that point? No, of course they wouldn't Shuba, of course. Th that, because this is the building of the Teva now. That's what follows now. He's telling them to build the Teva. Shem's not ready to destroy the world yet. He's giving them 120 years. And even the, in the 20, 120 years. Mm -hmm. If they would have done Shuba, we'll see. Mm -hmm. The last minute. Over here, the Sifano says. Shekulam goslam zeze, they all steal from one another. Habalam goslam saoris, the owner of the field steals from the sharecropper. Bekoach, mipneim, that's what it means. Bekoach, the man sees he's being victimized. There's, that's what, that unabashedly, they steal from one another. Voris goes habalim bimimra, and the sharecropper steals from the owner of the field with deceit. As a result of that, so when the field is producing fruit, who is it for a bunch of thieves? Okay. Vini mashchisom esoritz, and I will destroy them esoritz. So Rashi says esoritz means minoritz. Let's see Rashi. That's Rashi. What the Sefirna learns. Vini mashchisom esoritz. I will destroy them and nature of the land. Esoritz, the nature, the whole environment, the climate, in that the climate will not be uh, conducive to produce anything of value. Rashi Kates Koboser, Komokshit of Moses Znus, Admusio Bololam. Wherever you find Znus, promiscuity, Admusio Bololam, meaning. Tragedy comes on the world. Play comes on the world. Voreges tovim voroim. There's the midas adin, and the good and the evil are are, are killed, are die. Ki bolor tzchamas lo nechtem gzardinom el al gezer. Famous Rashi. What their fate was sealed as a result of what of stealing. That was like the straw that broke the camel's back. This is, um, you know, there's a famous question which Rabbi Khanan asks in the Kovitz Mamorim. Now, we know Stoker is not one of the seven of Noach. It's not one of the seven Noahid laws. Yet it says, a posuk in Yecheskel, that the reason why Akkadish Broker destroyed Sodom was Lo Herset Yad Loni. They did not give money to the poor, they, not, they didn't support the poor. So Rabbi Khanan asks, if it's one of the Shev Mitzvah Noach, one of the seven Noach, it's their obligation. Giving charity, supporting the poor is not one of the Shev Mitzvah Noach. They, will, they will, withheld. That's Mida Sodom, right? With the Mishnah, we speak Mida Sodom. You're behaving like a Sodomite. It's like heartless. So what? To the heartless people. So Rabbi Khanan says that the two things. There is what you're permitted to, what you're not permitted to do. That's the Shev Mitzvah Noach. What is the fabric of a human being? 
God created the world for human beings. You have compassion. person is needy. You give them charity. So not to even have a sense, a feeling, where a person has nothing and let them just starve to death. This is already a subhuman. This is not a human being. God says, you know, the, the world is not for this kind of person. Understand? This, this is so basic to the value of what you are, you don't, you don't deserve to exist. That's how, we, that's how he answers it. So I'm saying, you, 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 you have taiva, you have desire, uncontrolled but desire, okay. So you, you, bestiality, everything under the sun. But already you're stealing, unabashedly stealing. Where's your conscience? That's already without conscience. It's already been on chavero. Therefore, Therefore, that was already, that was over the top. That was the straw that broke the camel's back. Oretz, Kemo Mino Oretz, Domo Lo Ketzesi, Yeso Ir, Mino Ir, by Moshe Rabbeinu. Choles Raglov, Dovr Acher, Eso Oretz, Im Oretz. What does that mean? Shav Gimel, Tvok Shel Omek Abach Risho, Nimuchum Ditashtu. That the three Tvokim, which the plow goes into the ground, which is the depth of the plow, that was also destroyed as a result of what? Of the Mabels. It's not only the people, it's even the earth, Three tefachim, twelve inches into the ground, was was obliterated. So he said. So what does he say? So this is before they have a chance to do tshuva. As lechot teva satsi gofer, make a teva out of gopher wood. Kinim tasis a teva should be made with rooms, cubicles. Chavarta osa bedbaisim bechutz ba gopher. It should be coated on the inside and the outside with pitch. This is to waterproof the teva. Now. Famous Rashi. Asal Tevis should make the ark. Tarbi Rev got so fun of. I mean, does Hashem have a problem how to find a way to protect who has, where it has to be protected? If Noah and his family have to be protected from the Mabel, he, Noah has to invest 120 years of his life building an ark. The specifications with endless rooms and cubicles and providing accommodation. It's Chazal. They shiru anchi dora mabel osik ba kuf chav shana. They want Noah wasn't just an ordinary person. He wasn't some kind of um, uh, off beat type person. He was a prominent member of society. So if that's the case, if he engages in the project, hundred year project, people are going to say, Noah, what's going on? So once he engages them in this dialogue, he's going to get their attention. What is he going to tell them? You know, you people, you know, start change your behavior in the hundred and twenty years. This world ends. And therefore, the, the Teva is the refuge for those who will survive. Maybe this will touch their conscience and they may do tshuva. Mm -hmm. Just want to skip to the last one. Less Rashi will be because it's a, you, you, you should pitch, pitch on the in the teva on the inside and the outside. So Rashi over here says, "B'tevosish al Moshe, I they should ma'im toshim daye bechomer bibifnim v'zevis mechutz." Moshe Rabbeinu's the box that his mother put him into the yard. It was sufficient that he only had pitch on the outside, not on the inside. Inside it was coated with lime. So why over here was it on the inside and the outside? The inside, over there the water just shook the box. It wasn't turbulent, violent type water. So therefore there it wasn't necessary. But Because smelling pitch, it has a foul smell. So because it would cause the tzadik pain. You had no choice. Here you had no choice. There you had it. To, it wasn't necessary. So, no, some no, 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 even a, no, but even a more basic question, even more basic. He says the reason is because the water wasn't as as turbulent as violent. Okay, that's the reason. And, and the old that the tzaddik shouldn't smell the smell of the pitch, but over here because of the, the 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 strength of the water, it was necessary. So say there was necessary. There was what what once you're speaking about differentiation. Really, Noah was also tzaddik, but you had no choice. There, you had a choice. Why did you have a choice? Because it was violent. If that's the case, it's unnecessary. Once it's unnecessary, we don't have to talk about tzaddik any longer, right? You understand? If it's necessary, 
saying, you know, Moshe was a great tzaddik, you don't want to pay the tzaddik. But we say, no, here you had no choice. Even though Noah was a tzaddik, right, so it's a little difficult. How, how? No, miracle definitely was miracle. It was a miracle regardless. Regard, both were miracles. Both were miracles. We're talking about, but, but it's, it's, we're talking about the perception. We're talking about the perception of people. People to perceive it that it's not a miracle. What do you need to conceal the miracle? How much do you need? So, so you say, there it was, here it's violent. You need inside and outside. There you don't. That's one pshat. Another pshat, tzadik. You don't want the tzadik to be pinged. But over there, but, but a mabu, you have no choice. So once you're saying you had no choice, so over there you did have a choice. So you have, if you had a choice, so it's, it's not necessary. It's enough to conceal it with, without putting on the answer. So I think the pshat is this way. When we're talking about saving life, there's always, you take the, the nth degree of precaution. So put it on the inside. Even though the water is not, but when you waterproof something, you add to it, so we're not talking about a, a cost factor. The answer is, since it wasn't a necessity, even though people may do it also, that, here comes the that, that comes into play that it should not be. Because as long as it could be understood, but people may say, no, it's okay. That's like the overriding factor. She made the decision. She made the decision. Okay, but we were able to draw from this. She drew it from this. She knew by the Teva. She knew, she knew the Teva was inside and the outside. You have it. So why don't she do the same for the two reasons? Either it wasn't necessary, or even though a person may have added it, but that's why she didn't. She had no idea. She had no idea. But still, and no, it doesn't make a difference. Even five minutes, you know, go, go into, into, into the ocean. If the boat is not sealed uh, sufficiently, it sinks. That's a reality. Huh?